Hi everyone, I hope that you're all okay. So I wanted to make a little quick video today just talking about the kids and life and everything really. I hope you don't mind and I hope I don't bore you too much either. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've noticed but there is no grocery haul uploaded this week. Basically I've thought that I recorded like a grocery shop when I got back last night and then when I went to transfer the files um, there was no files there to transfer which either means one of two things I either forgot to press the record button which is just barbaric when I've been taking when I've been vlogging for so long or two the memory card isn't like recording properly um, I'm having a few issues with my camera at the moment every time I put my memory card in it occasionally says memory card error so I'm guessing that I need to get a new memory card which is what I'm gonna do today um, but yeah, anyway, I won't muffle on about that. The things that I wanted to talk about, there's quite a few things really. I don't know if you remember me telling you a while ago, but Frankie actually signed with um, the Grimsby Town Academy for his football, um, so that in next summer he would be like playing games mm. for them. Are you alright? Um, which, which means that he wouldn't be able to play for like a Sunday team or anything. Um, which is, it's a great opportunity for him, you know, it's like a mainstream, fo mainstream football club, but you know, he's been going to the training and he's not been enjoying it at all. The thought of going was like making him cry and to be fair, I didn't really want to send him to a hobby that he's meant to enjoy if he's not enjoying it. What's the point in that? Um, he was getting lots of homework for it as well and I kind of feel that it was too much for him too soon. He's only seven years old. So we've decided to take him out of it and just let him do what makes him happy, you know, there's no point in doing it if he's not enjoying it. So um, he's just going to carry on playing for the, um, like the Sunday team that he's been playing for and yeah, he can carry on enjoying it. Um, it's a hobby, it's nothing serious, you know, I think Lee kind of wants him to be this um, like famous footballer when he's older but you know, I'm proud of him for whatever he decides to do with his life so yeah I just want him to enjoy it while he's a child um, if things get serious when he's older with it then so be it but for now it's a hobby he can just enjoy it um, another thing is Poppy basically last week I took her for a two-year checkup which she's like she was two in November so it was quite a late appointment really um, but we took her for the check I took her to the checkup and Oh, I don't know what happened, honestly. She's all of a sudden started acting really, really shy around people that she's not familiar with. She like, was sat like that. <laughs> um, every time the health visit visitor like spoke to her, she put her hands over her face and she's like, says to me, I'm shy, mummy. Um, obviously she's heard some, She's obviously she's heard like me and other people say to her, are you a bit shy? Um, so now she's like, yes, I am shy. It was a really interesting appointment really because um, I had to like do a for tick a form off before I took her with the things that she could do so I like I kind of did them with her before we went a few well I did it about a week beforehand um, and she can do she can do pretty much everything she, well she can do everything um, she's very physically able to do a lot of things and I'm pretty sure sometimes she's got the thinking of a four year old not a two year old um, but yeah, we couldn't get anything out of her at the health visitor, she she just hid from her um, and in the end I ended up feeding her and she fell asleep and then she woke up because I had to go and she threw this massive tantrum, yeah, um, it was huge and if I was at home like I'd be able to ignore it but because I was at the health visitors I was a bit like, oh my god, what a moment Poppy for you to be throwing a tantrum. Um, I tried the usual techniques of distracting her and she wouldn't, she just wouldn't stop. So in the end I just um, took, her, took her out to the car but as I was leaving the doctors she screamed the place down. It was like, people must have thought I was abducting her or something or you know, I was hurting her because she just screaming. It was like, oh no, you know when you just want the ground to swallow you up. Um, but yeah, the health, the health visitor said that she's doing really, really well and it's kind of good that she's got this shyness going on at the minute with strangers. It's like the stranger danger thing. So yeah, I'm really happy with a development and stuff. Um, I did mention to the health visitor about Poppy's eyes. Um, one of them was, I thought one of them was turning in a little bit. Um, 
but to be honest I've not really noticed it as much recently so I don't know whether it's like when she's tired it does it but I did say the health visitor, the health visitor did say like to keep an eye on it if it looks like it's getting any worse then she'll um, sort a referral out for Poppy so yeah that's a good thing isn't it eh I'm talking to the dog like he's gonna reply to me what's that all about um yeah another thing is I can I feel like I can now say that Poppy is fully toilet trained I'm just amazed um yeah she's dry at night and she's dry in the day she does have the odd accident at night um I think she's had one since she's not been wearing a nappy at night and you know they do go forwards and then they go back again so I'm like expecting her to go back again but when we go out the house she doesn't wear a nappy and um, basically on a night time when I get the kids to bed Poppy goes for a wee with Georgie and the boys um, and then um, obviously I bring her to bed and then at 10 o'clock I um, try and get her on the toilet again so um, we don't get any accidents in the night <laughs> um, I, I still wake Georgie up as well to go on the toilet at 10 as well um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of like one at a time, really. Um, but in the daytime, we when we go out, she doesn't wear a nappy anymore. She tells me when she needs a wee, um, and I take her, basically. She's really, really verbal about the things that she wants and stuff. She's like, Mummy, I need a wee. I'm like, oh, no. It's like when we're, when we're on a mission to school in the mornings and I've, I'm stuck for time, it's like, Poppy. But I'm so proud of her for, like telling me that she needs a wee and how she seems to have got the gist of it I mean it's taken since October the first couple of weeks was a bit hit and miss and at, at times I was like oh is this cleaning up poo and wee ever going to end but now it's February almost March and she's got it you know she's completely got it so yeah I'm really happy I'm also really really sad because I don't have a baby anymore it's like she's not a baby anymore um Obviously, she's still my baby, but she's not a baby. And, you know, no matter how much I baby fire, <laughs> she's, I can't stop her from growing up. So, yeah. And another thing is, she's not going in the pushchair anymore either. She absolutely hates it. She wants to walk everywhere on her reins. Um, so that, like, I've not used the pushchair in about two weeks. And it, it's, like, strange to not be pushing a pushchair around anymore. I just, I can't get my head around the fact that she's just grown up so fast. Um, it's just bizarre. I'm really, really, really excited because on Monday um, I'm actually going to London uh, till Tuesday um, to meet some other mummy vloggers and I am so excited about it. I can't explain how excited I am. I'm also really, really, really nervous as well. Like these people whose videos I watch and like they watch mine, well I think they do, um, it's like that you're going to meet them and to me it's a bit a little bit nerve-wracking but you know I can't wait I just can't wait to, to see them all so yeah everything is good and um, yeah this afternoon when Lee gets back from football um, and we're going into town Woo! Um, we're going in we're going into town um, to visit like a place who will hopefully be decorating the wedding venue um, I need to get some quotes and stuff so yeah i'm really looking forward to going and deciding what we're gonna do um yeah the other thing that i wanted to tell you about was the bridesmaids dresses okay so i was going for a dusky pink color um that's actually changed now i ordered one dress because i wanted to try it on holly and emily before i like bought everyone else's i wanted to see the quality i think i remember i remember telling you that um the dress that i ordered well I'd had a glass of wine and I ordered the dress and I ordered the wrong colour. I basically ordered, um, it's like a peachy colour, far too bright for what I wanted really. Um, but the fitting on Holly and Emily, it fitted them beautifully and it was a, it's like made really, really well. You would never guess that it was from like China. Um, the only thing is I've gone to order the dusky pink ones and they're out of stock. So I'm going to change the colours of the bridesmaids dresses slightly to like, it's like um, a pastely grey. It's not like grey, it's like a pastely grey and I think it'll look um, really, really nice with the dusky pink in Lee's tie and I, th I actually think it'll look better than the dusky pink to be honest with you. So I've got everybody's sizes and stuff now so I just need to 
like order them really. Um, I keep having this really crazy dream as well that it's my wedding day and I've not got any shoes. <laughs> I, I don't know why I keep dreaming it, I just keep dreaming that it, I'm getting married and then I realise I've not bought any shoes yet. <laughs> so maybe that's another thing that I need to get done ASAP because um, yeah it's, it's March soon and that's like April, May, June, July, like that'll make it like four months till we get married and wow, I can't believe it's nearly March already, it was only Christmas five minutes ago, so yeah, I need to get them dresses ordered um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to stay to visiting the venue uh, decorators so that I can get sorted with what we're going to do, um, so yeah. I just thought I'd pop on and do a little update. I am really sorry about the grocery haul. I know that some of you really like to watch them. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go and make some lunch for the boys. And yeah, hopefully I will vlog on Monday and Tuesday. Um, I'll let you see what we kind of get up to. And yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.